Okay, this short video is just to go through the process um, for pay claims for supervisors. Okay, so um, as a supervisor, please log into the home page, uh, the Sonia home page, and on the right hand side, there is information um, regarding these claims. So the two main claims are timesheets and travel claims. Okay, so these are the most up to date versions, and we do change these regularly, so please use. Um, each time one from there. Okay, so the first one that I'm opening is the timesheet. Okay, it is an Excel spreadsheet. Just bring that across. Okay, and you can see that the spreadsheet has editable fields which you can write into and you do need to fill in the relevant details, the name of the student, the name of the school, what time you started, uh, what time you finished, how many hours you worked. Okay, um, And then what will happen as you fill those in, so I'm going to say one example, super student was at super school and you were there from 9 until 12 which was three hours on the 1st of June. Okay, and as you start to fill this in you will see, if I scroll down, that the total in this um, hours worked column is automatically added up and the um, hourly rate converts and gives you a total amount. So if, for instance I had another three hours here, another three hours here, you will see that the amount changes. So it's really important that we use this form so that it's automatically added up. Um, when you're making claims for um, students on this form, the travel timesheet, uh, you need to claim three hours for every student observation visit per student. And at the very beginning, you can claim um, for a meet and group, you can just claim two hours. So if you go to super school and regardless of how many students you have there, so we call that meet and greet, teet, greet, we claim for a meet and greet only two hours and that's for all the students there. Um, so we don't need to put different students names there so that might, might just be from 10 till 12. Claims can only be made within the school day, so you can't claim for 6am to 8am and you can't claim from 4pm to 6pm. The times have to be within the, the normal school day. So a completed timesheet, I'm just going to give an example here, might look a little bit like this. Okay, so let's move that across so you can see it. So we've got different dates, different students, different schools the time start, time finish and it will automatically add up. Okay, When you have um, completed your timesheet you will need to save it, so file, save as. I suggest you make a folder on your desktop for supervisors claims, put it in that, put it in that folder and um, save it. Okay, you will notice that the timesheets and the travel claims are all um, named using a set format so you always put the year first followed by the term, followed by um, the timesheet number that you've submitted that term. So for instance, the first timesheet is obviously timesheet one, the second timesheet, timesheet two, and so on, and then your own name. So year, term, timesheet one, two, three, whichever one it is, and your name needs to uh, be in there. Okay, so we don't really want people hand printing these out and handwriting them because then you're just writing in the hours and it's not automatically adding them up. In the same way, I'll just go back to the um, Sonia screen. Okay, for the um, travel claim, okay, I'll just open up the Excel spreadsheet and again um, it looks like this. So you can type into these boxes your personal details, your staff number, your campus, the make, capacity, registration of your car. Don't forget to put your name in. And then you will need to fill in the date the school you visited and the kilometres and the kilometre rate. Um, just to clarify where you get that from, the kilometre rate de depends on um, what car you have and whereabouts. So for instance if you're in the metro area and you have a car between 1600 and 26, your rate will be 74 cents. Um, so I'm just going to show you my first trip was 10 kilometres 
and my second tip was 23 kilometers you'll see that the amounts are adding up in the right hand column and the total amount is automatically added up and again this avoids um, the prac office getting out a calculator and having to check if you've done something by hand so please make sure that you use these forms and again you would save this file save as uh, onto your little folder called supervisors claims and you would call that 2017 term whichever term it is term 3 for instance um, it would be travel claim uh, we've got travel team claim 2 so let's assume this is travel claim 3 and it's going to be my name or rather your name uh, and save. So you've got all those documents saved nicely there. I'll just give you an example of one that has been already filled in. So here's an example here. Okay, so supervisor, Simon supervisor, um, campus Fremantle, make of car, engine capacity, registration of car, and then we're filling in the date, the school, that it's a visit, um, the kilometres travelled, and it's automatically added up there. Um, so please make sure you claim either from home to one school um, and then you claim from one school to another or from the final school back to home. Okay, so you've saved all those claims somewhere on your um, somewhere on your computer, you've got a safe place to save them and then you need to upload them to Sonia so that the PRAC office can process them. And the way in which you do this is go to Documents okay and you go to add new document then you simply browse the appropriate spot on your computer pick the one you want to upload yes I want to upload that one because I haven't already uploaded it um, determine who can view and edit this document you don't want students or schools to view or edit your timesheet so leave all of those unticked uh, the category completed timesheet and mileage form uh, you can fill in a description if you want, but if the, if the document is named appropriately, it's not necessary, don't forget to save. And then you will see it there, term 2017, term 2, supervisor, whoopsie, that's not the one I wanted to show you, where is it here, here we go, term 2, timesheet 2, Simon supervisor. Okay, um, so that's how that should look. Thanks, Katie, for allowing us to use your site. I will delete that. Okay, that's basically how you upload your timesheets um, to the documents section of Sonia. Thank you.